everybody. Tonight I'm going to read you one of my favorite books. It's called Mole Music. What I like about this book, it's about violins and I like playing violin. I, the other thing I like about this book is even before the book begins, the story begins. Here is the title page and there is the squirrel and he has an acorn. And here's the the author's page and here is a fox and he is chasing this girl and the squirrel loses the acorn right over Mole's house. And on the page that talks about the publisher, there are three little pictures where the acorn starts growing with rain and with the sunshine and its roots go down into the ground where Mole lives. Here is the story of Mole Music. Mole lived all alone underground. He spent his days digging tunnels. At night he ate his supper in front of the TV and then went to bed. See, right above his house. That's where the roots are growing down in his house. Mole liked his life, but lately he'd begun to feel like there was something missing. One night on television, a man played the violin. He made the most beautiful music Mole had ever heard. I'm going to make beautiful music too, Mole said to himself. So the next day he's sent away for a violin of his very own. Every day, Mole checked his mailbox. No violin. Finally, after three weeks, it arrived. Look, the violin. Mole was so excited. He picked up the violin and drew the bow across the strings. But instead of beautiful music, all he made was a horrible screeching sound. Look, did you see the screeching sound? And look at the birds. They're like, ah, because the music would go up through the roots and up into the tree. Mole tried again. The violin still screeched, but not quite so horribly. Mole kept after it. After about a week, he could play one note, then two, and before a month went by, he could play an entire scale. Mole continued to practice. He learned to put the notes together in a simple song. Years went by. Mole got better and better. Boys and girls, look how big that tree has gotten over the years. And this, and all the music, can you see the music coming out of the tree? The music would go up the roots and out of the tree. He was happier than he'd ever been. During the day, as he dug tunnels, Mole hummed the music he played at night. <laughs> now Mole played even better than the man he'd seen on TV so long ago. Sometimes he wondered what it would be like to play his music for people. He imagined himself playing before a huge audience. He imagined that he played for presidents and queens. He even imagined that his music could reach into people's hearts and melt away their anger and sadness. Why 
Anyway, maybe his music could even change the world. Mole laughed at himself. How silly I am, he thought, imagining that my music could do all of that when no one has ever even heard it. Mole played one more song, then put down his violin and went to sleep and dreamed beautiful, peaceful dreams. <laughs>